All right, guys, it's Kevin from Finesse Fishing 101, and in today's episode, I'm down at the creek, and what I'm going to be doing is going to be comparing three separate Rebel brand lures. The Wee, the Wee Rebel Crawfish, the Teeny R, and the Crick Hopper. And I'm going to take these three lures, I'm going to test them out, see how they do, and I'm going to compare them against using live bait, primarily live worms that I dug up in my yard this morning. So I got, I got the live worms, I'm going to compare them against these three lures, see what works best, and I'm going to try to load this video with a lot of uh, how-tos on, you know, line, size, and retrieval style, and basically the whole setup of how you should catch fish on each of these techniques with the three lures and also tips with the, uh, the live worms as well. But anyway, uh, I only got a few hours of fishing, so I want to get it going, but I'm hoping this is going to be a good one. All right, so the first one on the list today is the Crick Hopper. All right, so this is moving water. There's a, you know, there's a current moving down the stream. So usually my technique I do with this, I try to cast it out there, let it sit, little twitches. You want to draw a fish up to it. Once you see that a fish is coming up to the surface to look at it, because they usually check it out first, that's when you see, boom, that's when you give it, that's when you give it the little twitches. And then what you do is you wait for one of the fish to bite it and bring it under. Once you know that the, the uh, lure is underwater, that is usually when you know it's a good time to uh, set the hook and start reeling in. The next one on my list is this little worm that I dug up this morning. It's on the four pound monofilament line with a split shot about 14 inches above the worm and like I said I'm using this ugly stick five foot ultralight rod with a president Fluger Fluger president reel and I basically worked the hook through the worm's body popped it out to give it the most natural presentation There we go. What do we got here? Okay, so the first species of the day is a fall fish. All right, this is a fall fish. Often confused with a creek chub, but um, I a lot of people think these are vermin, don't like uh, catching them. I don't mind them, I think they're pretty fish. And uh, I don't catch too many of them, so I don't really consider them to be a pest. But I'm going to get this guy back in the water so that, uh, well, so that we can keep fishing. But this was on a uh, live night crawler. Let's get this guy back. All right, so I decided to switch to the Teeny R. And I am going to hope, I probably will switch back to some live bait, maybe back to the Crick Hopper. We'll see. But I'm switching to this now to test this one out and we'll see how it goes. I usually start off with this lure with a nice constant retrieve at a steady medium pace, not too slow, not too fast. But I will, uh, I'm not getting any luck with that I switch off kind of do a little maybe like real real pause real real pause or real 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 jerk real 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 jerk so I mean I definitely tr switch up the cadence a little bit but cast a little bit this way cast a little bit this way cast a little bit this way
All right, so I decided to switch spots. What I'm gonna do is probably spend about 10 more minutes on this teeny R. If I don't catch anything, or even if I do catch something, I'll be switching to the Rebel brand crawfish lure. I am wearing my wading gear, so I'm gonna be walking all up in this water. I'm gonna start casting here for a little bit. Then I'm gonna to switch to the, the crawfish lure cast here. Then I'm gonna make my way, cast a little here, head down there, cast, and head on the other side of this waterfall over on the other, the other side of the creek and fit cast over there with the Rebel brand. Once I'm done that, if I don't catch anything with the Rebel brand, or with the crawfish lure, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch back to the live worm. Since the live worm was the one that gave me success, I think if I go back to the live worm and start catching fish immediately, I think that's a clear cut winner that the, the live night crawler, at least on this day, is the one who will prevail. All right, so now I'm gonna switch to this, the uh, crawfish, the Rebel brand crawfish lure. I'm gonna cast a little bit here and move my way over. There we go. What do we got? A little bread breast sunfish. I feel like this fish started hitting that before I even cut, before I even started reeling in. Dang, he has all types of hooks up. Yeah, a little red breast sunfish. He, uh, he, had, he, he, he had that hook locked to the top and the bottom parts of his lip, so I had to like do a little bit of surgery to get the hook removed, but this guy will be all right. Let me let me let him back. There he goes. See that? Swam off fast. He'll be all right. Well, I didn't have my GoPro on, but I just caught this smallmouth, tiny guy, but nonetheless, it's still another fish. Wish I would have captured it, but that's okay. It was uh, it's a little guy anyway, but that's two for the uh, Rebel brand crawfish. I'm going to keep casting with it. I do want to switch back to the worms though eventually. But here we go. The Rebel brand crawfish lure catches another fish. There he goes. Another red breast sunfish. All right, we got another little red breast sunfish on the live worm. I'm gonna let this guy go They're right down here. Oh, he went right underneath that rock, that log. A little common shiner, I think. Yes, that's a common, common shiner. Another one that's sometimes mistaken for a creek chub. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some underwater footage of this guy.
There we go, a little red breast sunfish. There you go. I'll get some. Ooh, that's some great colors on this guy. Some very nice colors. GoPro died, but a new species for the day, a little pumpkin seed sunfish. I'm gonna let this guy go. Alright, another one on the worm. Like I said, the GoPro is dead, but I caught this little smallmouth right in front of me right here. And I am going to let him back right where I left him. Right here. Uh, that there you go, buddy. Well, the pumpkin seed are in full effect today, apparently. Another one on the worm. Right there. I'm gonna take a picture and then I'm gonna let this guy go. Well guys, that's gonna be it for today's episode. Um, a lot, I had a lot of footage that I did not catch on the GoPro, only on my uh, cell phone. I brought an extra GoPro battery, but that battery itself only had like 18% on it. So that's where I made the mistake there. Um, I gotta get better with it, making sure I bring the right necessities, enough memory on the memory card, and enough battery on the GoPro, but uh, it could be because I used it more, but the worm, live worm, outdid the lures. I did catch a couple things on the, um, the rebel crawfish, including a smallmouth bass, and, but overall I'd say the worm, for, especially for multi-species angling, the worm will definitely be the most effective, at least on this day it would be. But uh, I did, I gotta say, I spent more time with the worm than the actual rebel, the, the crawfish and the other lures. So that had a lot to play with it, but there's a reason why I was using the worm. It's because when, I'm getting, when I was using the worm, I was getting a lot of bites. When I was using the lures, the bites were few and far between. And today I was just in a mood where I wanted to be catching a fish. But anyway, if you like this episode, if you like this channel, please subscribe like this video, comment, and click the little notifications button so that you can see more of my videos. But anyway, until next one, have a great one.